pay-per-view action. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. And we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. The site for our championship fight. Scheduled for 12 rounds of middleweight action. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. The Lion's so alert right now. I mean, look at his focus as he makes that walk that so many fighters dread. But he makes that walk down to the ring just so very alert. Marvin Hagler's ring walks have become the stuff of legend, and you can see the intensity on his face. of this championship fight is underway. Teddy, we have sat through thousands of fights broadcast ringside, but this one, above any other, feels different. Yeah, the anticipation has been tremendous. Now we're gonna see whether or not it lives up to the expectation. Marvelous Marvin Hagler in action here tonight, Teddy. What should we see out of him? Well, what a lot of people don't think, they see his chiseled body, they think you're just gonna come out and get a seek and destroy missile coming at you. He looks you over a little bit and then figures out how he's gonna take you apart. I figure the first round is gonna come out probing with that southpaw jab, defensively alert, and again, taking a peek at you. Should be a fun one tonight with marvelous Marvin Hagler going up against the guy who can bring the thunder. Yeah, but Hagler always knows he can bring the thunder, but he also has the lightning, he also has the rain, and guess what? He also has a little bit of an umbrella. That umbrella is defense. He knows how to make sure that he can make you miss and defuse the bomb. Looks for him to defuse the bomb tonight. I think Hagler's got a tie up right here. Marvelous Marvin has to buy himself some time. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Nice strike after catching one by the Lion. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Last 10 seconds. Blocks that belt line well. Headshot lands, was a hook. Hagler's commitment to just pure offense is lacking right now. I mean, the guy has to let the hands go. Well, he was hurt earlier. You know, there was a little short punch on the inside around before, and nobody really noticed it. But guess what? He did. And I think that's why you're seeing him be a little bit unsure of himself and not throwing the punches that otherwise you'd say, hey, come on, how come you're not? That is why. Tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Throws a counter punch there. Halfway through this round. given me the impression that he's not 100%. Now, we saw that he was stunned earlier, but the non-stop clinching, it really tells you where he stands. Yeah, it does because that's not his way. That has not been his makeup, his personality before. So you know something's not right right now, and his opponent is starting to understand that. 
He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punches. Well, the old timers used to say, when you're calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. And yet another right hand lands. And now he's targeting upstairs. And we come to the end of round number two. The Lions' effectiveness really damaged his opponent in that last round. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by marvelous Marvin Hagler. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Marvin Hagler. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Watch right hand to the head. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Commits to the straight right. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. The Lions landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Unable to make an impact there by Marvin Hagler. A little defense turns into offense. He blocks the shot, comes right back with one of his own. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. So round number four is underway. The Lions been looking very good early on. Teddy, you have them up three rounds to zip. I think that's the only way you can have it right now, although I've thought that before, and the judges see it a different way. But he's been aggressive, and he's been effective. Good exchange. He fires back. The Lions got speed and plenty of it. Teddy, still, I'd like to see him just bite down and fight a little more. Yeah, you'd like to see him sit down a little bit, bend his legs a little bit, and make those punches a little more effective. Not just great where they look good. Missed the body shot. Great stuff. He fires one right back That's after it. taking one. Gotta love the work by marvelous Marvin Hagler. 90 seconds to go in round number four. by the Lions. Good step back counter punch there. Work the body, kid. Body shots. Not able to land the head shot. How about that left hand? We count down the final moments of this round. Lions combination punching is working well here. 
you can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he was doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. Able to cover up that gut. The Lion's so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. Now, this is just beautiful to watch. Watch how he just links one to the next, Teddy. A beautiful sequence, almost like musical notes being played. Well, exactly. It's a nice tune because it just follows. One, as you said, follows the other. Nice and smooth. Hagler is almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Halfway through this round here. Cover up, cover up. The Lions doing well here with that two punch combination. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Hagler's punch is far off the target. He's targeting downstairs time and time again. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by the Lion. He is damaged. Oh, that's got to hurt. Not a good sign. He goes to the canvas for the first time tonight. Marvin Hagler has been in some wars before, but now he's the one that's in real bad shape here. He got up. But he doesn't look good. Well, you mentioned it. he's been in wars before. Maybe they're taking their toll and showing their toll right in front of us. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. The start of the sixth round. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Just still not. Hagler's got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. The Lions putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by marvelous Marvin Hagler. You see how quickly he pulls the trigger on the hook after that block? Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Goes up top again. Watch the hook. And he engages in the clinch. The Lions swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Keep doing what you're doing. The Lions giving us a good showcase of defense here tonight, especially up top. His head movement is just sublime. And his opponents cooperate with him a little bit because he's getting frustrated. He's looking for that big shot. And yet another big shot comes in. And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? Marvin Hagler, 60 seconds to recover. Hopefully will be enough for him. Now, he's got good cornermen. He's got the right people in place to try to fix this situation. Yeah, and they got to work like a pit stop, you know, in the Indianapolis 500. One guy's giving the gas, another guy's changing the tires, you know, another guy's maybe giving the driver a little water. They got to do the same thing. Give him some water, refresh him a little bit, work his legs a little bit, and then just before he goes out, a little advice. The Lions showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Marvin Hagler's, did you see that? How is he gonna survive this once 
once again he hits the deck. He's gonna have to find a way. got the heart of a warrior to beat the count again. He did it again there. What he's going to have to do now is have the smarts of a warrior, have the smarts of a general, and make sure that he ties up a little bit. At the halfway point of round seven. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Hagler's trying to survive this. He is taking a beating right now. That one good shot came in and rocked him. And that's the problem with his defense right now. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. Over, fight is over, Hagler smashed, and he can't get up.